Hi guys, today we will be looking at digestion and enzymes. So you need to be able to describe the structure and function of the parts of the digestive system, explain how the digestive system breaks down food both physically and chemically, and explain the role of enzymes in digestion of carbohydrates, lipids and proteins. So looking at the spec, uh, the uh, AO1 definition of the digestion is the hydrolysis of large biological molecules to small molecules that can be absorbed across cell membranes. So you need to be able to remember this um, definition. In terms of the digestion, we will be looking at carbohydrates amylase and membrane-bound uh, disaccharides, lipids, lipase, including the actions of bile salts, and proteins by endo, exo, and membrane-bound dipeptidases. So uh, later on, in next video, we will be looking at the absorption. So what is then digestion? As we've mentioned, it's a hydrolysis of large insoluble substances to smaller soluble substances which can be absorbed and assimilated. So within the digestion, we need to be looking at the physical and chemical breakdown. So what is then absorption and assimilation? So absorption, it's taking soluble molecules into the body and assimilation, it's the incorporation of those absorbed molecules into body tissues, right? So uh, we will be looking now at the action of the enzymes involved in the chemical breakdown. So in the chemical breakdown, we will have uh, enzymes. Of course, you should remember from section one that enzymes are specific. They can hydrolyze a large molecules into sections, and those sections can be then uh, hydrolyzed into smaller molecules by different enzymes. And important enzymes for this lesson are uh, carbohydrates, lipases, and proteases. Okay, so digestion of the carbohydrates, we're starting with the polysaccharide with starch. Of course, it's too large to, to be absorbed, so it has to be hydrolyzed by enzyme amylase, which will then break it down to maltose. Maltose, it's a disaccharide. It's still too big to, to pass through the uh, membrane, so maltose will be hydrolyzed by maltase into glucose, which is a monosaccharide and can be absorbed. So how this process happens and when does it happen? Well, it starts in the mouth, okay? So saliva enters mouth from sal uh, salivary glands and it's mixed with the food. So saliva contains salivary amylase. So this is the first step that the hydrolysis of starch into maltose is taking place. Really important here is the pH. So the pH in the mouth is neutral. So we're going to swallow our food, of course, into the lower parts of the digestive system. And uh, there won't be any further digestion in stomach due to its uh, acidic conditions. So here amylase enzyme, it will denature, so prevents the uh, further hydrolysis of starch. So food, of course, passes down into the small intestine. And here the food will mix with pancreatic juice. So this juice contains a pancreatic amylase. This amylase will continue to hydrolyze any of the starch into maltose and this is uh, uh, going to take place thanks to alkaline sites, uh, salts which are going to maintain a neutral pH. So remember there was an acidic pH in the stomach so using the alkaline salts we can maintain a neutral pH. So finally we are in the small intestine and this is where uh, its epithelial cells are going to produce disaccharide maltase uh, disaccharide maltase is going to hydrolyze maltase into glucose. Okay, so those uh, those enzymes working uh, on the uh, cell surface membrane of the epithelial cells are called a membrane-bound disaccharides. So the uh, hydrolysis will be complete into the alpha glucose. 
right so what happens when we've eaten disaccharides so we look at the starch but what happens when you eat disaccharides like sucrose or lactose so the other membrane bound uh, disaccharides will work as well so sucrase and lactase will hydrolyze single glycosidic bonds between those uh, two molecules uh, two monosaccharides and sucrase will produce uh, glucose and fructose while lactase will hydrolyze lac uh, lactose into glucose and galactose right similar mm, with the proteins proteins are of course polymers as well are uh, made of many amino acids and they are too large to pass through the mm, membrane to be absorbed so what do we need to do with them we need to break them down we need to hydrolyze them so looking at this diagram we've got few different enzymes working so our uh, so we will have endopeptidases so those are the enzymes which are working in the middle of the chain we will have exopeptidases which are working on the uh, on the terminals and finally we will have dipeptidases which are going to hydrolyze the peptide bond between two uh, amino acids what's the job of them well the job of each of those enzymes is to increase the surface area for the other enzyme to work so how the digestion of proteins follows uh, it's the hydrolysis of the peptide bonds by endopeptidases so hydrolysis of the peptide bonds uh, between uh, the middle chain of those amino acids exo hydrolyze the peptide bonds at the ends so at the terminals and dipeptidase it's an example of membrane bound uh, enzyme which uh, hydrolyzes the uh, peptide bond between two amino acids so remember really important for the questions the job of it the idea of this is to increase the surface area for further digestion so if anyone will ask you to describe the digestion of proteins simple as that hydrolysis of peptide bonds endo breaks a polypeptides into smaller exo remove terminal and dipeptidases hydrolyze dipeptidases into amino acids so the final one lipids uh, what do we need to remember about lipids they are not protein uh, they are not sorry polymers so the digestion of them will look slightly different so let's have a look at this lovely diagram so in terms of the lipids uh, we've got lipase so enzyme which is produced in pancreas and it will break down lipids into monoglycerides and fatty acids so we can see it here so monoglyceride of course it's a mono so glycerol with a single fatty acid molecule attached so uh, lipids will be uh, split up uh, split into tiny droplets called micelles by biocells so this is your role of biocells which is produced by the liver and this process of splitting them it's called emulsification and of course this then increase the surface area for the uh, of lipids that uh, lipase enzyme can work on so that's the adaptation right so the advantage of lipid droplets and micelle formation droplets increases the surface area for lipase enzyme action so faster hydrolysis of triglycerides and micelles carry fatty acids and glycerol to membrane of the small in uh, small epithelial uh, in the, uh, in the uh, epithelial cell so this is the job of the micelles here carry the uh, carry them for for the absorption which we will be looking at in our next video right so that's everything on the digestion bye